If the last headphones you bought were called Walkman, it's time to talk. Headphones today are a very different beast from what they were even three or four years ago. Today, truly wireless headphones are durable, they're comfortable, they have reliable connectivity, and they come with batteries that last longer than ever. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog, and case in point is the new truly wireless offering from Sennheiser. These are the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless, and these are what you might call premium truly wireless headphones. They promise, according to Sennheiser, uncompromised sound performance, state-of-the-art technology, and refined design. Do they deliver on those promises? I had a chance to test out a pair for a few weeks to find out. Inside the box, you'll find the earbuds, a charging case, a charging cable, and some extra ear tips. Saying these headphones require setup is kind of overstating it. Turn them on, and the first time, they should automatically go into pairing mode. If you do need to jumpstart them, take them out of the charging case and simultaneously touch and hold the right and left touch control panels on the side of the buds for about five seconds until you hear the voice prompt pairing and a beep. Go to your phone's Bluetooth menu and choose the Momentum Truly Wireless. To get control over more features easily, download the Sennheiser Smart Control app. The first time you use the app, it'll search for nearby devices, and the app easily found my headphones and connected them quickly. The app will also do a few other things. It lets you adjust audio and EQ settings. You can turn the ambient or transparent hearing mode on or off, and it'll also show you your battery level. Now, sometimes I found the app didn't recognize the headphones. I had them out in my hands or in my ears and even playing music sometimes, but the app was still searching for them, so I'd need to close and reopen the app. Kind of a minor inconvenience, but just something to be aware of. You can do a lot with these buds just by touching them. The hardest part is remembering which tap sequence on which earbud does what. It's kind of involved, so if you need a list of what controls what, head to blog.bestbuy.ca for the full list. I will say the touch controls, though they worked well, were pretty frustrating. It was hard to remember which bud, the left or the right, to tap and how many times to get the controls that I wanted. Plus, if I missed hitting the bud right on the center of the touchpad, it was all too easy to screw up the tap sequence. Moving along to some other features of these headphones, the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless has what's called an ambient function, or I guess technically as Sennheiser calls it, a transparent hearing function. This digitally lets some ambient noise in through the earphones while still playing your music, and it keeps, uh, lets you keep rather the buds in your ears if you want to. To turn the feature on, you can tap the touch control panel of the right earbud twice. To shut it off, you can tap the touch control panel of the right earbud once. Now, perhaps easier is using the app to turn this feature on or off and adjusting whether you want to keep the music playing and mix it with the ambient sound or just have ambient sound bleeding through. Kind of a great thing to do if you're working at the office and you want to look like you're busy and you're focused on your music, but you still want to hear what's going on around you. The Sennheiser Momentum earbuds automatically detect whether they're in or out of your ear, and conveniently, you can disable this feature too if you want. Music playback will pause when you remove an earbud and then resume again when you insert it. The right earbud can be used by itself, but not the left, since it requires the right earbud for Bluetooth transmission. Assuming you are already connected to Bluetooth and you have things paired up correctly, using the buds is easy. Just take them out of the charging case and put them in your ears. If a paired Bluetooth device is in range, you'll hear the voice prompts, power on and connected, which I've just heard, and the LED lights on the earbuds will light up in blue. I found this feature worked well and uh, connected pretty much every time. The earbuds will automatically switch to power save mode if they don't find a paired Bluetooth device within about 15 minutes or if they're inactive for about an hour. Now that's a long time to stay paired up and connected in my opinion and could, do, uh, could drain your battery, but I guess it's better than nothing. The battery life on these headphones is okay just okay. You'll get about four hours from the buds in a single use, and there's eight more in the charging case. Now, some other truly wireless headphones are offering five or six hours of power in the buds, and I'm talking about brands like Samsung and Jabra, and then you'll get up to a dozen more inside the charging case, and Jabra delivers that. So these seem kind of weak by comparison, particularly at this price point. Also worth noting is that there is no fast charging feature and they feel like they take forever to charge. There's no stated time in the manual, but two hours of charging this case did nothing to change the light from orange to green. I just needed a quick boost to get me through a walk and I was left disappointed. 
When it comes to looks, these aren't headphones that'll stand out. So if you like to be low key, I'd say these are perfect. The chic gray fabric wrapped case is nice, but again, nothing fancy. I'd say these earbuds are designed to be professional and basic when it comes to looks. The sound quality is what these headphones are all about, so let's get right to it. Sennheiser goes to great lengths to create ultra high quality sound for audiophiles. So what they lack in battery life and style, they are supposed to deliver in audio quality. So do they? I tested them out and also compared them to several other earbuds I had at home in my technology test kitchen. The bass in these headphones is outstanding. It's full, vibrant, deep, it's resonant, and it made listening to particularly bass heavy tracks a real pleasure. Vocal forward tracks sounded gorgeous, just like the artists were singing right directly in my ear. I was also able to notice tiny things in the music, the sound of a guitar pick raking across a string where I'd never heard that before and subtle breathing during the song. Overall, the sound quality was clear and even. There was no lean to either the high or the low end, and voices cut through clearly whether I was listening to music or to podcasts. So if you're looking for probably the best sounding, truly wireless earbuds, these are going to rock your world. A common issue when using truly wireless earbuds with a phone is a lag when you're watching videos. So is there any lag when you're watching videos with these Sennheisers? Well, yes and no. When checking out dedicated TV from iTunes on the iPhone XS Max, there was no lag. But with YouTube, there was a slight lag between the video and the audio. Now, I will say this is a pretty common problem among truly wireless headphones, so it's not entirely unexpected. I have tested plenty of headphones like this and almost all of them have a lag of some sort. It's just a matter of how bad it is and how distracting it can be depending on what you're watching. Overall, there is a lot to love about these headphones, starting with how great they sound. They are comfortable too and have zero dropouts. The downsides? Probably the price. These are pretty expensive at $379 Canadian. Plus those finicky touch controls can be confusing and annoying sometimes. But if you've got the funds and want the absolute best in sound quality and you can handle the finicky touch controls, then these are definitely for you. If you want to read more, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've got a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have either there on the blog or always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.